Hello all, hope you're all well. Um, so I've been struggling to think of things to put a little video together recently because I've not got any new cars or anything uh, coming in for a little while. I've got the new uh, Hornet Evo on order. That should land in the country on about the 25th. I'm, I'm making this video on the 21st. So as soon as I get that, I'm going to do a little uh, unboxing of it. And I may do a, I may, I'm not sure whether I'm going to, build it when I'm going to build it but we'll definitely do a little unboxing to go through that but until then I've just done a little doing a little fill-in video here of something I've been thinking about so this is um this is a Kyosho Outrage here it's uh I think it's about a 1992 1994 something like that and it's uh obviously not standard but the standard model is a budget you know uh, a bu the budget end of things from Kyosho the metal bits of plastic on this and it's a more basic buggy uh with with uh, interchangeable parts from like the Ultima and such but as it is out the box it's it's a basic it's a basic kit and I was thinking I wonder which Tamiya you could almost compare this with <clears throat> on the market because I know a lot of people you I know we have these battles of Tamiya versus Kyosho and all that but at the end of the day, they they both have different different meanings in the marketplace. You know, Kyosho are definitely. I don't think anyone will really hit me for saying this. They are the more serious uh, kits with racing in mind and more high end. You know, more forward thinking technology. This, that, and the other. But Tamiya, their slot is more fun, cartoony character nostalgia. And they survive off that. They survive off it well. I always think of them more as, even in their own their own you know name, they're they're plastic models which just happen to move under their own power, which is which is what they are. If you look at them that way and you don't get too technical about it, then um, yeah, then you you don't really find a comparison. But rather than waffling on, so I was thinking, seeing that this is the lower end, could it be compared to the Hornet? It could do. But then I was thinking more comparable to the uh, Hornet is the Kyosho Raider. And then I thought perhaps Grasshopper. Well, it's a little bit unfair on the Grasshopper considering that it is such a basic car and it was around for a good at least 12 years or 10 years before the outrage was even thought about. And it would be unfair because the technology on this, although basic, is a lot you know, further up the ladder than the grasshopper so I thought right what could be and then looking through my little uh, collection in the cabinets I thought it was more comparable to the grasshopper 2 now bear with me bear with me before you start taking shots <laughs> it's um this one is slightly modified yes but only slightly the main thing being the oil shocks which the super g came with obviously not these shocks and these are only the bog standard uh cvas tamiya cvas from like the dto2 dto3 uh cars so you know that's the only modification on this so but this is not the budget of the budget of tamiya but it's it's two or three cars up from from the lower end um and the time scale of what it was bought out, it was bought out before the outrage. But, I, you know, I, I, I think these are more comparable. So let's have a little look at the pair of them side by side together or nose to nose or whichever way you want. So, yeah. Oh, malfunction. Um, so, yeah, the reason I say that is because of the oil shocks. The uh, They're both rear wheel drive. And the Grasshopper 2 has artic articulation in the back. Obviously, the suspension, the way it's controlled is still still more basic than the Outrage. The Out Outrage has the oil shocks as standard. It is rear-wheel drive. But it is definitely more focused towards the racer, the young racer, the beginner racer or whatever. Because the parts of this are so interchangeable with the Ultima you can really you can really mod these up um this one is only slightly modified nothing really 
too much. Just the gen, just the normal stuff, bearings, uh, motor. I've uprated the uh, electrics to to modern ESC rather than MSC. Uh, still run it on NIM batteries. So the actual running, the electrics of these two cars are both the same. Uh, and the Outrage has independent rear suspension, which is obviously above the um, the Grasshopper. So performance-wise, the Outrage is still going to outperform the Grasshopper 2. And looking side by side, you can see it's obvious which one is the more serious or closer to serious, hinting at as a racing a racing car. Uh, not to say that just because these are te more technically advanced and quicker that they're more fun than these, because the Hopper series of racing is one of the most fun series there you know there is. But if you're looking at being a bit more serious, then these the Kyosho definitely lead you along the way more more so. Um, yeah, the actual build is was slightly more complicated of the outrage because the Grasshopper 2 is so easy to knock together. Typical Tamiya. Uh, both good builds, though. The quality is very similar. I would say the plastic is slightly thicker uh, on the Kyosho, except the shocks are a little bit... Uh, the shock mounts are a bit weaker on the Outrage. But for the price point, I'm thinking the Grasshopper 2, I don't know how much one of them goes for nowadays, but I suppose they're around 100, 110 pounds something like that uh new unbuilt kit and the outrage i think back it back in its time although the prices of rc cars were strange that they don't seem to have gone on with everything in the rest of the world uh things of certain things about the rc cars are cheaper now than they were then um but the cars themselves they've gone up obviously i think the outrage was around about between 90 to 120 pounds so price point comparable really uh, i would assume that the grasshopper was was quite a bit cheaper than that back in the day the grasshopper too but yeah so by the time i put the mods on this and the mods on this these two have cost about the same amount of money um but i'd like to hear what you think in the comments uh not about the whole kyosho versus um Tamiya argument because well there's no need for that you can you you are allowed to like both you are allowed to enjoy Tamiya for their comical nostalgia you are allowed to enjoy Kyosho for their more serious technical racing abilities or or whatever and there's but there, there's better buggies than both uh at racing but I'd like to I'd like to hear what your Kyosho Tamiya comparisons are. Did I get this right with the Outrage and the Grasshopper 2? Is there a is there a better comparison that you can think of? Think about the price point as well, because it's not going to be fair to put this up against a Top Force or an Egress or even an Avanti or something like that. And it's not going to be fair to put this up to a like an Optima Mid Custom or or anything really, but um, anything like that. So. Let's have a look and see what, what comparisons we think can be made. Um, and if any of you have raced them, of course, and especially if you've raced them against each other, um, let me know what you think about all that. Um, in the meantime, with all the gloomy news that's about and the, the harsh weather and all of that kind of stuff, remember, we're on our run up to Christmas now, so let's all stick together. Uh, let's do what our politicians can't do. And uh, just have a bit of fun, perhaps agree to disagree sometimes without blowing each other up. And uh, yeah, let's prove that we're better than them. So um, that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all stay well and take very good care of yourselves. See you later.